Hello YouTube, Asian One Skill here again today. I just received a um, package that I've been uh, expecting for the last month. <laughs> so this is um, this has been released. This is um, a uh, release that was released last month. Um, JRPG, and let's get on with this so, big box. Uh, I was I was, I was beginning to think it wasn't gonna arrive, so I was like, dang man, how long does it take? So uh, I'm just glad that I'm finally getting it. Sorry, I didn't pre-cut this because um, I was just so excited. So I was like, make you guys wait. Nah, I don't like making people wait. So, you know, so this is a package that I ordered through. Ooh, cool. So out of the box, and it's in. I don't think he wrapped it in a more extra thing, but we'll see. He bagged it in Battlefield 4 promo bag. Awesome. Cool. That's always nice. That. Oh, and it's in the smaller bag again. And this time it's dishonored. But that's not what I'm looking for. Holy, and there's a third thing. Ooh, here we go. By the color, you probably already guessed. This is um, the European exclusive release of the Tales of Exilia Metal Pack. Here we are. Ah, oh, there we go. So this people on the front, really unique side. As a metal pack, there's no spine. It's just like a flip. So it's like, in a way, this is um like a cheap version of a steelbook. It's kind of sad that uh, steelbook uh, dot com was it uh, wasn't made gonna make this, but oh well. It's still unique. And here's the back with uh, different expressions of Tipo, tails of Xilia sign. Colors really unique. Let's get this open. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the insides are kind of different. It's just, like how it's made anyway, it's just a flap. And of course, inside there's no art. And I got two of these. One is for my friends, so... Yeah. These are... I hope they're both in pristine. Yes, they are both in pristine condition. Amazing. Um, so yeah, I got this off of collectorsedition.org as a group buy. So yeah. Now let's get on to the heart of it. So this is the European release of Tales of Exilia, Day 1 edition. So like North America, they also got Day 1 edition. To me, I think it's slightly smaller. I don't know. Um, so it comes with a same thing as the North American release one. It comes with a Tales of Exilia character art book and uh, the music CD for the game, which is also the same as the collector's edition, which is like, what, 12 tracks? So that's just crap. I mean, for a, a day one limited edition, that's fine, but for a collector's edition, unacceptable. Unacceptable. So let's just open this up, see if there's any specific differences anyway. I don't think there would be, but I can show you a couple. Um, from the collector's edition or whatever, or whatever we had in the North America. So get that shrink wrap off. So let's see, the box itself doesn't look as good as the uh, North American one. I believe the North American one had the ring or whatever, the rune sticking out or whatever, and it's more somewhat colorful. And then it's got a giant Peggy logo. So yeah, um, I don't think this is specifically UK, but it's like you know in Europe. But yeah, there's the front. Is the back? Yeah, this is definitely not. Uh, yeah, this is like German or I think it's German. Pretty sure it's German. I um, don't read German, so yeah. So let's just pop that open. Okay, there we go. All right, so it is sealed. I have the Tales of Grace's Day One Edition, and apparently those that wasn't sealed. I don't know, but the whole thing was sealed in wrap, so I guess they didn't seal the game, the game case. So that's it. I think I already know the differences for this. So here's the character art book that it says. So it just only shows um, the characters in the game, which is the same as the North American one. 
uh, day one release edition, so not much difference there. So this is a 38k page um, character art book compared to the. So this is uh, this came from the um, North America collector's edition, which, as you can see, it's made to be like something like a box like this, but you know this is because they already got the big collector's edition box, which as you can see right there, it's already beautifully, you know, all marked with art and everything. So they didn't really need to. So I didn't show, I'm not going to show the figure as the figures I've painted in the ass. I, I haven't displayed it yet, so. Okay, so this is the art book for the collector's edition. I believe the, U, the Nor, uh, European one is also the same thing. So this is like a full 100 page art book. So in, it shows the characters as well. But it shows it in, I guess, more depth, and it's, I think it's got a bio, character bio. I don't know. Can't remember. Let's take a look. Uh, nope. They, yeah, they both have character bios on them. And as you can see, they have like a rough sketch art on the North America Collector's Edition or, or European one. Supporting characters. And then, it's, of course, it's got the environment. I've played through this game. I haven't finished it yet. So, yeah. This is the North American one um, music CD. It, instead of a slip case or whatever, it comes in a jewel case. So as you can see, yes, it's crap. It's 12 songs. That's not good enough for an RPG. And the North American one, day one edition, it comes in a small paper slip case kind of thing. So this one is slightly different. This is slightly different, so yeah show you the rest of it. Okay, so I showed you the guide, the character book. Get onto the game. Pop this open. So, like the Grace, Tales of Grace is one. They put it all in one case, so it's like a split case kind of thing. So same thing as the box art or whatever. Yeah, figures. So... And this one does come with a manual, surprisingly. So here's the game CD, and then you flip it over is the music CD. I think even the music CD looks different. Oh, as you can see here, it clearly says on the music CD that it's music selection CD. Yeah, it's different. So here's the North America one, or collector's edition one. It doesn't say Jack on it, and it doesn't have pictures on it. It has the, uh, what is it, the uh, runes. Compared to the North Amer the European one, it actually says, so it's got uh, Jude and M Mila on the front. It does say music selection from Tales of Team. So clearly this isn't the full soundtrack already, as far as I know. So let's see if there's... Oh. And on the back... The printed cover, instead of the, um, what do you call it, there is no, um, it's not completely blank and it doesn't have the health uh, safety issue on the back of the art, uh, of the cover art. As you can see, there's some, I don't know how, how much you can see of this. You can see like a border kind of thing. Flowers and stuff, so that. Code. And it does come in a full manual, which I can't read. Uh, yeah, there's no English in this. Um, hmm. I don't think there's a DLC code for this. Yeesh. Gotta ask him, like, ask the, the seller again. I was expecting, I think, uh, a DLC code or something. This is register my game. You know what? I'll give this to maybe somebody. I don't know. The, if you're in Europe, or yeah, yeah Europe, um, there's like these uh, Bandai Namco ga uh, game codes, like uh, you know Nintendo point card, like the Nintendo uh, games and uh, consoles and stuff. So I might just give this out. I have another one, so I can give that out as well. So hmm, I think that's it. Yeah, there is no DLC for this one, however, compared to the uh, North American one. The North American one came with the regardless of collector or day one edition, they both come with a, I believe, um, a, a code for a theme and uh, alternative costumes for Jude and Mila. The European day one edition, however, does not. So, yeah, 
the main point of getting this was basically for the metal book. So anyway, or metal pack, sorry, metal pack. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please um, like, comment, or even subscribe. Um, yeah, uh, Asian Wind Skills out.